Awesome. So we are back for another episode of the Horsepower Podcast, the official podcast of your Calgary Stampeders with Micah Awe, as always, and Rice and John joining us what's on the up, podcast up, this week. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Yeah, nice to have you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate having me on. Good to have you, bro. Yeah, yeah, Thanks man. for, you know, taking the challenge. Um, you know, it's 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 not that everyone doesn't want to be on this show. It's just they don't know sometimes. And <laughs> people give me all excuses. And this guy? No excuses. He just said, yeah, Micah, I'll do it. Yeah, of course. No, I appreciate you having me on. I mean, mm-hmm. I was like, you, you asked me in the in the locker room really quick, just uh, last minute. It was like, yeah, sure, why not? Sunny day out, nice out. It's the kind of why team not? that you want. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Speaking of the weather, it's going to be like this on Saturday. So a beautiful autumn day. 1 p.m. start for fans that don't know. It's 1 p.m. Autumn? Autumn, fall? Autumn? Autumn? This is not an autumn day. This is a nice autumn day. It's a good season. Mm, it's a good season. I think we s- s- skip straight to, to winter. This, what? It's not autumn. This, okay, Micah. This kind of weather would be winter in Texas. You better relax. Man. So, <laughs> I, I, autumn sounds nice, sounds, you know, pleasant. It's a nice Canadian autumn day yeah. in Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> 1 p.m. start. It's going to be sunny. <laughs> it is. It is homey. 15 degrees Celsius. It is, uh, it is a type of homey type of season for everyone to, you know, get together and then see all the leaves be falling. And that's a good indication that, you know, weather is changing. <laughs> there you go. We got for the sure. leaves in the background. I think you can yeah, see yeah. they're turning orange and yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> it's not, it's, bro, it's not that cold, to be honest with you. Okay. It's not too cold. This, is, okay. this is the no. weekly podcast argument. <laughs> yeah, it, it's okay. We'll, we'll say that. I'll, I'll just, I'll rest my case right now. Yeah, yeah, you linebacker. Uh, <laughs> fans who are watching on YouTube or on our website, uh, we got some pink merch out here. So it is yes, the sir, Pink yes, Power Game on Saturday, our annual Pink Power Game, uh, presented by Mayfair Diagnostics, uh, just helping raise awareness and funds to battle against women's cancers. Um, you can get these toques and mittens at $25. Uh, proceeds go to Wellspring, Alberta. Um, come get your toques and mitts. They're nice, right? I like this pink. It's, it's a, a nice great, shade. it's a great color. I, I would, I would admit that. Admit that. Yes, I love it's pink. <sighs> Maybe get us the Raylan. Get this for Raylan, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Get Raylan hooked up with the pink power Maybe merch. Put this, this probably fit around her whole legs. It put two. Yeah. <laughs> her legs. Uh, Keep her warm. I don't know what this is like a do call almost for a, for a dog. You know, if you put it right. on Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what you're, I know right. what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just a minute. It was a minute, know, yeah. yeah. regular, though. But, yeah, it's a good color. Versatile. Very versatile. No, nah, but with these type of colors on any outfit, it does pop out, um, especially, mm-hmm. you know, raising awareness on um, this month for sure. So, but, yeah, it's uh, it's great for – especially for football players. Uh, I mean, well, we're, I think we're going to be wearing some pink. Pink week, spat. Right? Pink spat's always the best. Spat? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, pink yeah. spat is so cool. I, I remember it's doing that in high school because we did we did this as well yep. in in Texas, and it's just it's just a whole cool like whole month. I wish it happens like I wish you could optionally do it whenever you wanted. Uh well, really, also, I would say just for the October month, but that's true. Yeah, it's you true. gotta have awareness. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. yeah it's awareness yeah, thing. It's, yeah, yeah, but it's cool though. I, I, I've been liking this for sure. Not only this weekend is it Pink Power, but it's Canadian Thanksgiving. So I wanted to bring that up, Micah. Did you know that? <laughs> I, it's my seventh career, uh, my seventh year in the CFL. I know about the Canadian Thanksgiving, <laughs> but I do want to ask you a question, mm-hmm. y'all a question. Actually, first of all, where are you from again? Oh, well, I'm from Vancouver, BC, originally. Oh yeah, yeah I remember yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, big yeah. flames went over the Canucks last night. Just gotta insert that right there. Six five OT. I don't watch. It. <laughs> I don't watch it. Was, was that preseason? Pre- pre- oh, no, pre- first game right? of the year. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. What was the what was the score? Six five in overtime. Flames were yeah. down four one, Something and they came like, all the wow. way back. Like yeah, 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 I'm yeah. starting to get into hockey lately. Okay. My actually, my um, cousin in law is um, he plays for the Brantford Bulldogs in the OHL. Okay. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. So um, he, he's Shout a he's a D lineman. Yep. Good. Or defensive line. What what do they call him? Defensive, a, uh, defenseman. A defenseman. 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 Yeah, defenseman. I, I, plays on the blue defensive line though. Defensive lineman. That's crazy. So do do hockeys yeah. have like formations? Yeah, so it's uh, you got centerman. I think it's like center. Then you got the two wings. I know, right but like, wing. do you have? Is it like soccer where you have to have two wings, or you can do like a five-five, four? Well, I mean, it's five on five, so it's really you just have three. Uh, oh, three it's the three two. wings and two defenders. Yeah. So. Oh, three. everyone does that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless you're That's going, it. unless let's say like you're losing, you pull your goalie, then you can yeah, add an six. extra winger out there if you want. Yeah. And As then a, it's six on five. Just, oh, uh, you can pull your goalie. Yep. 
Yes. Yeah. So if you're down by <laughs> one or two goals and it's just like, to have no goalie back there. Yep. Yeah. It's been <laughs> hey, it's been pulled off before. Snipe that. Oh yeah. It's been oh, pulled, man. Hey, trust it. It's been pulled so, off before. Yeah. So so then yeah, yeah. does do anyone ever do like three D linemen or D defensive men and then uh, two two forwards? So depend. Yeah, I guess it, it, it would depend on the scheme that a coach would want though. But you would rather have like four offensive guys and then two defense. I don't Sometimes know. on your power guy. play as well, you might go f four forwards and one defenseman. If you like your forwards together, but yeah. sounds like a lot of offense hockey. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we need more defense. So, and somebody need to hire you me. Ever, you ever play any show on uh, video? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Show, you ain't show guy. It doesn't matter. I can just Ted Lasso it. <laughs> so, uh, any <laughs> NHL team. Ted Lasso, you don't Ted Lasso. Yeah, any uh, NHL team that's yeah, wanting yeah. a different perspective of hockey. Yeah, I, I play defense. I can figure it out. Ted Lasso figured it out. He got them to the Premier League. <laughs> that, man, am I not? True. Am I not wrong? It's a fix. Yeah, yeah. Am yeah, I not yeah, wrong? He did a great job of doing it too. It's a good, it's a good show, man. It's Anyways, show. this off season, Mike Alway on skates. Love it. Oh, <laughs> wait, I could definitely. Wait, didn't you ask me a question before this? Oh, you were going to ask Canadian us a question. Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, this is yeah, yeah. my question for y'all. Okay, is do y'all know how the Canadian Thanksgiving originated? Because like, or did it, is this just a strictly copy and paste American thing? Mm, I feel like I knew when similar. I was like eight, and so I it's a don't copy and paste. No, now it's it's similar. a copy and paste. Similar. It's a copy and paste. It's got to have its own thing. Okay. I mean, Canada was copying and paste <laughs> did from America. It's a it's a, but everything y'all do. I think we'll, we do. I think we'll avoid the origins of Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah, yeah. for this, <laughs> yeah. but. You're not gonna go into that. Or? I don't, I don't think we're gonna deep, go into it. Oh, good, okay. But I'll say this: it's a good, deep history, rich history on with both, you know, across both borders. All right, I'm just gonna go with y'all copy and pasted us, just sure. like y'all did with everything, except for y'all copy and pasted the British on Box Day, huh? Because y'all have Box Day. But Bo wait, uh, we Box Day or Box Day? Boxing Box Day. Boxing Day. Y'all have that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a British it. thing. But Canada is. That's like under, yeah, like so is America British, yeah. technically. So we're basically, but we didn't we didn't hold on to the Boxing Day. Yeah, yeah, but you know, Canada, we're on, you we're got on the crazy, British Parliament. You got yeah. the crazy yeah. Black Friday though. Like, y'all don't have that. We have it, but it's not as crazy as you. Like no. Boxing Day is bigger for us. Box, uh, Black Friday would be Cyber. Another question. Another we'll question. Cyber Friday. When did Black Friday and Cyber thing happen? Because I feel like it wasn't my whole life. I felt like it happened one year. It suddenly Cyber Friday or separate. Thursday and Black well, Friday. Well, I feel like. Online shopping, that's probably when that sort of Yeah, but I feel like it got that. big, like, when the PS4 came out, like, which probably was, Probably like, half a decade ago. Yeah, like, I feel like... You I might be right. Like, wait, but maybe I was just a kid, and now I was, like, realizing... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might you might be getting older. Like, but. we didn't have Black Friday in 1920, <laughs> right? But, it was, well, uh, but the technology <laughs> at the time wasn't too emphasized. But you time. think there's always but been yeah. a Black Friday, but not, like... No, no, no. I think but it's, not like it's, it's, it's the right internet. Now. It's the internet. It was the internet. Yeah, I think that, the internet did it. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's okay. technology, dog. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're right. No, no. You're right you're on point. I feel like no one knows these facts. We need to use Google more. <laughs> we all need to use Google more. Maybe we should have like a Google like, uh, you know, because I asked a lot of questions about Google. So right. I feel like we need to have like some kind of like Ask Jeeves thing right here. <laughs> you need Alexa on this one? Well, just, yeah, that's we need like Alexa. Alexa like on the show. I don't know if we can get okay, we'll sound get, we'll get, get sponsored by. We'll yeah, get maybe. a sound. We'll get a sound by on uh, one day. The next. The next episode. All right. Cool. Uh, oh, cool. Speaking of Thanksgiving, though, I have a question. That yeah. Maybe rice and maybe for you too. I don't know. Personally, as a Canadian, I don't feel like mac and cheese is like a part of Canadian Thanksgiving. That's just not something that, I, like, I know about. Uh, and whenever I ask y'all, yeah. what's your favorite food? It's always mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> I know she had a question. You had a question. Yeah. Earlier. So okay. So. I guess it depends on what family does make mac and cheese. Although, if you do have mac and cheese, usually the uh, was it the crumbs on top of the mac and cheese for baked. Right. Usually, there are the best case scenarios on having those on the table, uh, so everybody can munch on. But um, but mac and cheese has been mostly Americanized. Would you would you say y'all call mac and cheese KD? <laughs> Which I, I oh, that's a whole nother podcast. We're not gonna get into why y'all call it KD because that's actually just a brand. It's it called is, Crafted. Yeah, yeah. But well, you don't need a. It's yeah, like, yeah. but why'd you call it KD when we have different? We have Velvetta. We have uh, oh, other oh, brands. Wait, no, we don't that. have just. We don't have just KD. Yeah. You don't call it KD. Everything they don't deserve okay. that. No, it's but, like it's like Kleenex. Yeah. 
Yes. A Kleenex, it makes more sense. It's the only thing yeah. you'll ever see at store is Kleenex. But, but for like, mac and cheese, yeah. Mac so. and cheese, Katie. <laughs> Why y'all giving them that much credit? Yeah, and no offense, Katie. If y'all want to sponsor me, I'm I'm all for yo, it. But. Don't be ridiculous, man. <laughs> you, you see my point? But, anyway, I, hold on. That's not so, the question. So yeah. for mac and cheese, though, when she's trying to ask, so I, like, it, it, does, it does depend on what families do make it, uh, what household. I would though. say. But I, you know it's delicious. I would say technically, I don't think mac and cheese is part of it. Technically. But I also think Thanksgiving is about family. Mm -hmm. So it depends on Almost, your yes, family yes. and if they cook. Like, for example, my family, my mom cooks jollof rice. Right. And oh, yeah. so so jollof that's always been part of our Thanksgiving, jollof rice and fried turkey. So that's in my good. family, jollof rice is a staple. But for within, most, yes, within your household, yeah. in your background. Yes. Yes. So I think it, okay. that's that's so the practical Practical gotcha. answer. Yeah, yeah. So just like I said, just depending who it is. Yeah. Jollof rice, eh? Hey, Jollof rice. Shit. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I had to cook one for the. I've been. I've been. I've been forced to cook one for the the <laughs> team dinner. You don't. You don't sell. You they didn't don't even sell. invite me. They didn't even invite me. They just said bring the jollof rice. Do I'm you, like, am you, I invited? And they're like. Just bring the jollof rice. All right, I got a question for you. Can you make good jollof? I, I jollof can. Rice? Oh. I can. I, I my mom. So so. Yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this has been a journey. This has been a journey. Good. Uh, the good. first Love journey. five times I made it, my mom was on the phone with me and FaceTime for like three hours. Yeah. So I got the whole master chef thing going. <laughs> um, oh, good. I'm pretty good at it. Right. I mean, you just say yes. it's one of those things. No, no, we can keep going. This is a huge deal. Good. To make jollof no, it rice is. Bro. Is a huge deal. For, for y'all who don't know, jollof rice is a Nigerian Niger staple food. Nigerian boy. Um, yes. Usually there's an argument between who has better jollof rice, Nigerians or Ghanaians. Yes. The answer is always Nigerians. But the answer is also, you know, it's always your mom, right? But, like, to to be able to get what your mom, the, the recipe, this is the hard part about it because it's kind of Thanksgiving. sauce, yes. Is she doesn't have a recipe. Right. That's the hard part. I've watched her for years make it. And I asked her like for yeah. two years ago, "Hey, hi, mom, what what's the recipe?" She laughed. <laughs> it's not about the recipe; it's about the feeling. Yeah, you know. So um, I I got I have the feeling now. There it, you go. It might be genetic at this point. That's what's up. That's what's up. More man. salt. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more. A little bit of uh, this, more butter. Hey, yeah. As long as you know what you're doing, man. As long as you I know try. what you're doing, that's what that's, that's what right. matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, Micah, you get. Two Thanksgivings, because Raylan, obviously, <laughs> yeah, a Canadian, well, she's gonna she's got Canadian so Thanksgiving, and you got American Thanksgiving. So that's October, yeah, November, and December of these meals. Do you switch it up, like at Thanksgiving, at Christmas? The more the merrier. The more the merrier. I guess the more the merrier. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas, and Alberta. <laughs> you got great Alberta beef. Yeah. No, she's gonna get all three. I mean. Man, she she's a she's a lucky child. <laughs> she gets the best of both all all the worlds. Cause I feel like to be a Canadian citizen, it's it's awesome. She gets a like a lot of benefits from that. Oh, benefits. We oh, we do. Um, Pass I know passports and everything. I know she she got her American passport second. She, she uh, dual dual citizenship. Yeah, she yeah, just yeah. got her American. She was Canadian nice. first. Yes. Yeah, I mean she's always gonna be Canadian first. Yes. Cause she was born right there in Foothills. Thank you. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Oh Let's yeah, go. Foothill oh. baby. I was born in the Foothills. Really? Yeah. Fun fact. That's so cool. Uh -huh. That's like Fun historic. Um, they That's have good. okay beds. I slept on the bed after she was born mm -hmm. for about two hours. It was it was pretty good, pretty soft. Thank you, Foothills. We appreciate what you did for me and my wife. <laughs> and Raylan, yeah. Free shout out. Yeah, free shout out. Mm -hmm. awesome. But yeah, she's she's gonna she's having a great situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Situation. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, awesome. Battle of Alberta. One more this season at home, mm -hmm. last game at home this season. Uh, just what it means to come out and show up for the fans. Obviously, it's a year <clears> that didn't go the way that the team wanted. Yeah. But I was talking to Cam Judge, too, and I don't believe in a wasted season. There's always something that you can take away from it and build always. on to the next year. Uh, so just what it means to you guys to come out one last time and ball out for the fans here at McMahon. Matters. It matters for everybody. That's uh one a part of this uh, this journey, uh, like all of us, uh, us too, of course. And then the, for, for the fans that have been here all summer, all season though as well, that's wanting to come watch us play, come watch us improve. But also, especially the team across north though too, I mean, we don't really like them, <laughs> respectfully. But so, but it's, uh, it's gonna be a good battle regardless, but yeah, everybody wants to see us to win. That's, uh, that's what matters most. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. at the end of the day, you know, we play a game and mm -hmm. it's fun. I mean, every time you get on that field, it's just another opportunity to, you know, put on a show for the fans. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. Another thing, too, is just, like, we have such a great locker room. I mean, the, 
the year didn't go the way we wanted to go, but yeah. like in the locker room, like I love every single one of these guys, yeah. and I truly do. So it, the worst thing you can do is go out there and not not yeah. care. Yeah. I mean, we're at the end of the day, like you're playing football. You go out there, you you put your body on the line every every week. So it's gonna be a fun thing to do yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, just have fun. Yeah, at the end of the day, just have fun with it. I mean, regardless of the weather conditions or whomever's here. I mean, obviously we got friends and family. Uh, from all over, or you know, we decided to fly in really quick, and then you know, obviously my family's on the West Coast and uh, Vancouver as well. Though. So I mean, they be watching and they be hearing about it though. So yeah, just end of the day, just have fun with you guys and uh, put it out, put it out there. Awesome yeah. fans, you heard it here from Micah and Rice, and they're gonna come out and put on a show for you one last time at McMahon. A 1 p.m. start here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a beautiful autumn day at McMahon. Yes, it will. Uh, yeah, kick off at 1 p.m. Yes, it will. Appreciate it. It's not autumn. It's winter. It's the last one. Oh man, time well, flies, doesn't it? Oh, that's crazy. Well, I want to thank everyone here: Calgary yep. first, Ryson, Michaela, yep, Natasha, uh, Natasha, um, everyone behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Um, it all honestly been it's been great. I've always wanted to be a part of a podcast, so I'm glad I was able to kind of do it in front of um the Calgary Stampeders and um. Yeah, like I said, the year didn't go the way we wanted to go, but you know, like the great Coach Wally used to tell us, my rookie year, football is a microcosm of life, and sometimes in life, it's just not a great year. It's not a great day, but that doesn't mean you give up. That means you move forward, and the main thing you do is you learn from it. Because for whatever reason, whatever you're going through right now, someone might need that one day. Someone might be having a horrible day. And you have just the thing to tell them to make their day better. And um, that's just what football is. So mm -hmm. I know all your buddies and other CFL teams are laughing at you right now. But just know you will get the last laugh. You will get the last laugh. Final wave. Final wave, man. And that's the way we do it. So thank you all for a Appreciate great year on the Horsepower Podcast. Appreciate it. Thank you.